What's going on YouTube? Uberman here. I'm a couple days late on this video, but I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway. The president of Uber Technologies has quit. Um, he's been with Uber for right around six months. His name was uh, is Jeff Jones. He came from Target to help restore Uber's reputation um, in the community. So, you guys may not know him or recognize the name Jeff Jones, but I'm sure a lot of you guys remember the emails that drivers were getting, right? We were getting emails pretty regularly saying, hey, we've been listening to drivers, we're making changes, we're working hard to make things better for you, you know? And it was a weird thing because I remember getting the emails, I was like, what the hell is this? Unfortunately, uh, nothing really got done. Jeff Jones really didn't do a whole lot. Um, and now that he's leaving after six months, I think what it really did is, is instead of restoring Uber's reputation and the faith in Uber, um, I think what it's done is just distorted things even more and made people really question what's going on within the corporation. You know, Uber, uh, uh, take all the legal issues and, and, and uh, you know, lawsuits, pending lawsuits, litigation, put all of that aside and let's just talk about the recent activity um, when it comes to uncovering sexual misconduct, um, sexual harassment in the workplace, um, explosive arguments, you know, it seems like things inside of the corporation are chaotic. And for a multi-billion dollar international company, that's not acceptable. That's not okay. There has to be organization. There has to be a chain of command. There has to be an open door policy where people can report issues and problems without fearing any type of recourse or retribution from the company. So putting all of, of that aside, we can move on now from, from tons of sexual harassment issues and obviously leadership issues within the company. You know, now we look at Uber's under fire and facing another lawsuit from Google. And Google's not somebody you want to piss with, but apparently Uber didn't care. Now I'm sure Uber's going to claim that they didn't know, but... I'm not sure a judge is going to believe that because I, I personally don't believe it myself. Um, so if you guys don't know about this story, there was an employee that was working on the autonomous vehicle project for Google. Well, he left Google and then stole uh, something like 9 or 10 gigabytes worth of uh, information on the autonomous vehicle program. This guy leaves Google, starts up this company. You guys may have heard of it called Auto, O-T-T-O, I believe is how it's spelled. Um... An autonomous program and Uber buys Auto, but Auto was basically designed with stolen information from Google and Google just figured all this out. So now they're in hot water with Google. This is bad news, you know. This is it, it's just showing more and more that this is a company that can't be trusted. You don't steal from Google, man. That was dumb. <laughs> that was dumb. I don't know if this was Uber's idea or if this was this guy's idea or, you know what, playing devil's advocate, maybe Uber didn't know anything about it at all and the guy just royally screwed Google and now got Uber in a ton of hot water as well. But um, as you watch all of these events unfold, it just paints this big picture of chaos and turmoil within the company. Um, and not to mention, you guys remember the video I, I, I showed you guys on Travis Kalanick where he was basically, you know, telling the driver, it's all your fault that you lost money and I had nothing to do with it when I feel it's, it, it should be split 50-50. The, the driver made bad decisions and, you know, Uber played that holding the carrot in front of people's faces and then, you know, when you jump or do whatever you need to do to get the carrot, the carrot's gone. Bait and switch. So it's Uber is in constant chaos at this point in time. You've got the uh, uh, previous Attorney General of the United States leading the investigation into these uh, these claims, these allegations of sexual misconduct, sexual harassment within the corporation. And all I can tell you is investors are probably scared shitless right now. Um, I know Uber is a multi-billion dollar corporation. I don't think they're going to be put under or go out of business, but guys... If they take too many more blows like this, they're not going to have any investors and they're going to start really losing money and they could very well go under. Uber is not immune from being put out of business. Uh, I know that they're a very wealthy company, but if investors start running, Uber will tank. 
it will happen. So they'd better be really, really careful about what they're doing in the future. And they really need to restore their, their reputation in the community with drivers, with passengers. Um, they got a lot of work ahead of them. All right, guys, so if you're interested in reading any of these articles for yourself, check the description below. I'm going to have a link for the, uh, the Uber and Google issue with the, the stolen um, data. I'm going to have a link to the president leaving. I'm going to have a link to the sexual harassment or sexual misconduct issues within the company. So go ahead and click the description below if you feel like doing a little bit of reading on your own time. Um, I just wanted to give you a rundown of what is happening within Uber at this time. And it, it's a scary time. It is because right now it's like 50-50 what could happen with this company. I personally hope they turn this around and pull it off, but uh, only time will tell. As always, like, comment, subscribe, stay safe out there, and Uber on.